I'm about to go ahead and take care of this mess and I'm using all of the pattern products by Tracy Ellis Ross and so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to use first. I'm going to use their shampoo first and then after I use their shampoo I'm going to try this treatment mask. It had a lot of good reviews on Sephora so uh, I'm going to wash my hair first then I'm going to comb it out a little bit. I might wet it first comb it out and then apply the shampoo, go in with the hair mask after I rinse out the shampoo and then go ahead and start deep conditioning and I guess I'll just tell you how I feel about the products as I go. Oh, so uh, go watch my other video if you didn't see the haul, but I also went down and got her brushes and combs. So I'm going to use her comb, her brush, and then at the end when my hair is almost dry, I'm going to use her hair pick. So I'm going to use these to comb my hair solely using pattern products that way I can give you a very unbiased uh, view. Okay guys, so I just combed my hair out. I used these two. I used this to like do the first initial comb and I went back with this brush. I'm honestly extremely impressed because these are very well made and sturdy and so they're not going to easily bend or break. This reminds me of the Devon brush as well as the tangle teaser that I use. So I think it's like a combination between the Denman brush and the tangle teaser. And I actually really like it. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna add the shampoo, but I figured I would do that on camera just so we can kind of see how it lathers and stuff. So I'm going in with this hydration shampoo here. And I'm gonna just put a little bit and see right between my fingers and just kind of Get it in there. I don't want to use like too much, honestly. Just wanna. Okay, I think a lot of it will go a decent, a decent way. It's lathering, and I, I honestly like seeing lathering. It's supposed to be sulfate and paraben-free, silicone-free, all those things. I'm gonna add a little bit more to my scalp just because. I want to make sure I'm thoroughly cleaning my head. So, so far I like the shampoo. I'm going to scrub my head a little bit, rinse it out, and then I'm going to come back and tell you guys how my hair feels after I rinse out the shampoo. Alright, so I just finished rinsing out the shampoo. It wasn't too soapy and it wasn't too like you know, bubble free. I think it was like a good mixture of um, like a good lather along with, you know, not too much soap. So my hair feels a little bit dry, but it's not like super stringy how your hair usually feels after shampoo. But I am going to go in with this pattern treatment mask and it says to use it on wet hair, whether that's before or after a shampoo. So I'm going to go ahead and do it after the shampoo. It says leave it on your hair for 15 minutes and then I'm going to go back in with the deep conditioner. So I'm just going to show you guys. It looks like a gel. Just a clear gel on my hand. And I'm just going to start up my roots. Go in there. Feels really silky smooth. Um, this one definitely a little goes a long way. I think two scoops and my head's pretty much covered in it. I'm going to let it sit for the next 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll let you guys know if I feel like it, if my hair feels any different. I will say it feels butter soft right now so I do like that but only time will tell how well this hair mask works so keep watching. Okay so I did rinse out the hair mask. I feel like my hair feels even drier than when I had rinsed out the shampoo. So the next thing is this um, heavy conditioner here. It's extremely thick, like very, very, very thick. So as you can tell, that's a very thick consistency there. And we're just going to lather it all in. Get these ends going. Get to the scalp. A lot 
lot of hair, so I find that I end up using a lot of conditioner. But because this one is so thick and creamy, I don't think I need as much as I would normally use. So I'm put a little bit more and then I'm just going to let it sit for a little while. Because I want to make sure my hair is getting that extra bit of moisture and then once I rinse this out I'm just going to go in with the leave-in conditioner and then I will start styling my hair. But I'm going to put the cap back on and let it sit for another 10-15 minutes. Alright guys, so it's been 20 minutes. I'm taking it off. Um, this is what my hair looks like. It has a somewhat funny smell I would say. I'm about to rinse it out and then add in the conditioner and we'll just keep going. Alright guys, so it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out. While I'm rinsing it out, I'm going to comb out my hair and then we're going to do leave-in conditioner, the two styling products, and we're almost done. Okay guys, okay guys, so I rinsed out the strong, like the heavy conditioner. I will say I'm a little bit disappointed because I feel like my hair felt brittle. Like I, Usually when I use um, conditioner, my hair will feel kind of silky smooth, but it feels more brittle than I would have wanted. I am about to go in with the leave-in conditioner and start styling. This is a lot less creamy. Um, it feels kind of like a regular conditioner that I would normally use. So far, I'm mostly impressed by the brush, the brushes and the comb more than anything else. But, you know, we're not done yet, so we'll see what we're looking like. So I'm about to go now and um, define this and I'm going to show you the products that I'm going to use. Okay, okay so the styling products I'm using is one, the leave-in conditioner. So next I'm going in with this styling cream, I'm going to use their gel. And then I also got their Stronghold gel. I'll probably not use a lot of this but maybe more so use this to define any curls that are super frizzy but I'm primarily going in with the cream and the regular hold gel. To make my situation a little easier I'm going in with my hairdresser's cape. I'm going to split it up by section and we're going to go in with the cream first. I'm going to try a little bit and then use more product if necessary because I don't want to uh, make my hair too heavy with all the various products. So this is the cream. It is not as thick as the deep conditioner but not as thin as the leave-in conditioner so I think it would safe to say it's an easy balance. I'm just going to apply this everywhere and on my roots and my ends. Then I'm going to take a little squirt of this gel which actually looks creamier than I was expecting. It's not as uh, stiff as a gel. We're gonna go in with that. I'm still feeling like my hair feels brittle and I, I'm not really, I don't really like that. I don't want my hair, I don't feel like my hair should feel this brittle using products. Like I said, it shouldn't feel this brittle. I shouldn't have to comb it out like this. I normally would just, you know, go in, but this is feeling kind of dry, so somewhat disappointed. I might even have to add some more cream to that because, boy, it's feeling really brittle and dry. Guys, this is not good. This is not good. So, I'm just gonna brush this here. And as you can tell, that's a lot of product needed. And my hair feels dry. So right now, I'm not so excited. Um, the products felt really good on my hands. They felt and smelled really well, but I just don't feel like it's as nourishing to my hair as I would have wanted. 
then again I'm not complete so I'm going to link back with you guys when I'm done defining my curls I'm going to show you and then I'm going to use my diffuser and then see what my curls look like after I go in with my diffuser we're not going to know till we're done so we're going to keep trying alright guys so I just finished stalling my hair I'm just going to be a 100% authentic with you guys. I'm highly disappointed. All the products felt extremely moisturizing. My hair feels not moisturized at all. It kind of feels dry. It's not like extremely dry, but it's probably half as moisturized as my hair normally is when I use uh, Not Your Mother or even um, mainly Balance Curl is the one I love the most. But the point is that I am going to use the diffuser but from what I can tell right now, the amount of product I needed to use was insane. And then it's not even like quality. I'm just, it's so far, I mean, I'm just for right now, I, I don't recommend it, but I'm just gonna keep trying and see. I'm going to, like I said, diffuse it and come back. I'm going to scrunch it, wet plop it. And we're just gonna keep going to see. But right now I, I'm, my hopes were really high and now they're like very disappointed so we'll see okay guys so my hair is officially dried it honestly doesn't look that bad i will say though i feel like it's a lot drier and frizzier than my hair normally would be with the other products that i use so i am going to spray my hair with their hydrating mist and then i'm going to use a pick as I said before, I never used a pick, so let's see how this goes. So they recommend this for like wash and goes and I guess touch ups, but I'm just going to do it just to try. It smells good. And for picking, I'm just going to, and then just gently lift. You don't want to frizz your hair too much. And then I flip, well, I mean, I think flipping from the back would be a good option. Like I said, I haven't done this before, so. Yeah, I'm looking at the curls now, and I'm just going to be honest, they're very frizzy. And, uh, I don't like that, but I will say, I'm not impressed with the products themselves, but I'm in love with the pick the Y2 comb and the brush. Those I'm gonna recommend. 10 out of 10. I just wanna see how many days this lasts me. So I'm going to go to sleep and then wake up and see what it looks like the next day. But as of right now, I recommend her brush set and the other products, not so much. But do you buy that brush? You know, this is with the volume. I'm sure I could add some more picking I didn't want to mess it up too much because I do want to get a realistic um, view of what it'll look like tomorrow morning. Alright you guys, I'll be back in the next scene so keep watching. Alright guys, so it is the next morning. I applied the very last product um, which is their edge control. I really do like the edge control. I do think that it makes sure I just look really pretty. It, does, it doesn't feel like it's going to budge. I think it will last all day. Even if you sweat a little bit, I definitely think it will still hold. So I do like this edge control and the price isn't that bad. However, um, the other products, they look good. I still feel like my curls will last me, you know, three to four days. I will say that it looks slightly more frizzy than I would like and I my biggest issue with these products were I didn't feel that my hair feels very moisturized and soft I feel like it kind of made my hair feel drier and brittle or compared to the products that I my that I love a lot which are the uh, balance curl and curl smith and even not your mother I feel like those products make my hair feel more moisturized and soft so do I think I will use majority of these products again? No. However, I love the brush set and the combs, and I really do like the um, edge control. So for those particular products, I do like them. The other products, I would hold off on. I don't think it's worth the money per se, um, but 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked my honest review. Please like, comment, and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys.